I wish. I wish. I wish. What's up, guys? So, Into the Woods stars Meryl Streep, Johnny Depp, Emily Blunt, and a whole bunch of other people are in this cast. And what this film basically is, it's based off the Broadway play uh, by Stephen Sondheim who did the music, and also did the music to uh, Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street, so, which was also made into a film adaptation. So, uh, you know, going in, I was I was really excited. I've never heard any of the songs before, only of what they played in the trailers. And, you know, I was like, alright, this, this, this could go pretty good. So, you know, watching the film and then leaving the theater, personally for me, I think that this movie was very well directed. I think Rob Marshall directed this film wonderfully, but this isn't his first rodeo when it comes to musicals. No, he, he's done uh, another one in the past. Uh, Chicago, I believe that's what he directed. Maybe he directed uh, another one as well. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, Rob Marshall is a fine director. Um, he also directed Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Ties, which personally for me is my least favorite Pirates of the Caribbean movie. But uh, that's not entirely Rob Marshall's fault because that was a well-directed movie. But, um, you know, but Into the Woods, it's just pretty much the story. If you don't know the story, there's a witch and she comes and, you know, there's a spell that's cast and the baker and the baker's wife have to go into the woods and gather these sort of items for the witch to uh, reverse the curse. That's basically one of the main plots because throughout the film you get, you know, there's a storyline with uh, obviously the baker and the baker's wife. Um, you get the story with uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. There's something that's going on with Cinderella. There is uh, Little Red Riding Hood is, is, uh, has a part in the film. And, you know, everything just collides together. Basically at the end of the movie, everything collides together into one big hullabaloo, I guess you could say, and personally I think this movie was well done for the first hour and a half, and then it teases you, it's like, okay, we're going to end now, everything's happy and we're going to end it, but all of a sudden, madness ensues and it goes on for another 30 minutes, which I think was ridiculously unnecessary. I'm not sure if that's how it is in the Broadway play, but even if it is that way, I just, I don't think it, it should have been that half hour too long. This movie could have been an hour and a half finished, and I probably would have liked it more. It's just this movie went on way too long. Just things happen that maybe will upset you. Things are going to happen that you're just going to think, what is going on right now? Uh, why are these people doing this? It's just, it was, it was ridiculous, in my opinion. But the first hour and a half is very good. You know, it's handled well, and I, I liked it. I really did. And Meryl Streep plays the witch, and, you know, she's basically the core of the movie, I guess you could say. She's, she's throughout the whole entire thing, uh, from beginning to pretty much the end. And she, you know, her performance, I mean... She's done another musical in the past. She's done Mamma Mia. So, you know, she she's a fine singer. And she might be getting nominated for Best Supporting Actress. I'm not entirely sure, but if she does, good. That's great, because her performance is great in this movie. And if you guys don't know, Meryl Streep is my favorite actress of all time. But Emily Blunt is also really good in this movie as the baker's wife. You know, all the performances are fine. There's, there's not a single performance that I didn't like. It's just in the beginning of the movie, the one character that kind of had me going... Am I gonna like this? I, I, I felt it in my head, is this gonna go bad? Which was uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Just when she came in and she started doing her thing, I was like, this might not be good. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go for this. But then as the movie started to progress, I was like, okay, I could live with her. She's, she's not that bad. Johnny Depp is in this thing, but he's... Actually, I was expecting him to be in it a little more. He was only in it for like, maybe five minutes of, of the whole film, and, and that's the truth. And when he is there, he kind of he kind of comes across as this kind of creepy thing. Now, he plays the wolf, so, you know, maybe he's supposed to, and he, he pulled it off, but I, I, I don't know. He's just, he plays the character in such a way that, uh, I don't know. But if you guys noticed, I mean, I guess, fun fact for you, Johnny Depp is singing in another Stephen Stontime film. You know, he 
was Sweeney Todd, and he was singing his heart out in that film, and now he's in another Steve, uh, Stephen Sondheim adaptation, and he is singing again. But only he's not in it as much, nearly as much. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to give Into the Woods uh, three and a half out of five stars. I did enjoy the movie. I just really wish it ended when the movie set it up to end. You know, things would have been fine, but um, what are you going to do? That's the that's the film we got. Guys, do you plan on seeing Into the Woods? Comment your thoughts on the film down below, and subscribe to this channel, because later today I'm going to post my review for The Gambler, uh, starring Mark Wahlberg, and then that will be my last official review of this year. And then tomorrow, you'll probably I'm probably going to post, most likely you'll get my uh, top 10 favorite movies of 2014 and then tuesday you're gonna get my top 10 least favorite movies of 2014 that's it that wraps up the year so uh yeah guys as always thank you very much for watching and i hope you subscribe over and out